guys. I'm here today to show you a track which I'm making on Ableton Live 9. I got Ableton yesterday. Um, I'm not planning to finish this track. This is more for just having fun purposes on Ableton. Uh, just really so I can just get used to its interface and used to it all together. If it gets released on these labels I'm writing for, uh, then that'd be great, obviously. But if it doesn't, then I wouldn't be too fussed about it. But I'll play you through a little track idea I've got. Obviously, I need to put a few more stuff in there to make it sound more exciting. But the basics of the track sounds pretty good so far. But I'll play it through and uh, give you guys an idea of what it sounds like. All right, then. Cheers, guys. sounds like so far as I say if it gets finished and it sounds like a good track and it gets released then that'd be good but I'm just using Ableton at the moment to have fun on and trying to get used to it but I'll walk you through some of the sounds that I've used uh, this nature noise uh, was actually um, something I got from YouTube I used the um, YouTube to mp3 website uh, it converts videos to mp3s basically. Um, what, I, what I did is I obviously got it to an mp3, 
dragged it in here and this is actually um, in the forest birds singing and chirping but I put the octave down a couple of times to get a really uh, unique sound so if I loop it into an area where it comes in like there for example That is birds chirping. Put down a couple of octaves if I uh, zoom in here. Well, it's kind of sounding a bit more up in effect now, but I was trying to sort of move up an octave so you can actually hear it was a bird sound. If I play you. I think I've still got it on my desktop. Um, here's what I've converted to an MP3 from YouTube. If it will load up. Come on. Right. <laughs> That little, I don't know if you heard that, that little whick, little sound. That sound uh, is the part where I set the um, start point at, and then I pitched it down, and you got this sound. Uh, let's get rid of that one actually, just copy this back over, so they keep popping about. Then you get this. I just. I just thought it sounded quite good. It sounded quite deep and chilled. So that was that. And this really does show you what I was missing really with Logic. Because Logic, as a lot of you know, has bugs. And I've not experienced anything like this in Ableton as of yet. I hope I don't. Um, which one's this one? Wobble effect. That was just a standard Ableton synth. I used the LFO and I put the um, rate up to 32 bars, and you get this, which is solo it. Need to actually loop it around. So. With everything playing as well. Um, you won't be able to hear it so much. You can hear it in a breakdown there. It just adds you know, a bit more, I don't know really, um, a bit more fun to the track, let's say. So that's that. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, we've got my uh, standard thing I usually do in my breakdowns, the boom kick. You hear it in a lot of tracks as well. Let me just loop around that actually. It's just basically one kick drum with a ton of reverb on it. And then if I play the actual breakdown, which is quite a nice climax when it goes down into it. And then we've got the standard white noise, what you'd always expect in the breakdown. Uh, glitchy pads is another standard Ableton synth I used. So I like that. It's I use the random moving distortion. So 
those paintings. There we are. It's under collision, under the effects, and it's random moving distortion. And if you want to uh, pause the video to sort of get the same sort of sense, it's up to you. So that's that synth. Apologise as well if I'm not really talking a great deal. I've only just woken up. Uh, well, this is the, there's two kick drums I've layered. This is the low end kick. This is the low end kick, bear with me. So that's the low end one. And the high end one is this one. Oh, wait a minute. Do it together. I might have to actually turn the high one up a little bit more. I cure it a bit as well. That's better, I can hear it better now. So those are the kicks. This is the standard open hi-hat. 909 hat. Let's call that 909. Shakers. Toms. To give a bit more of a rhythmic vibe to the track. Sphere. Let's actually loop around the Omnisphere. Um, yeah, I've not got in there. Let's put it in there, bear with me. A preset I used in the Omnisphere. Might skip that towards the breakdown actually. Let's leave that part out. Let's play it now. Let's play the whole breakdown section. This is part. That's that. Uh, where were we? That bass line, I think, it was a standard Ableton uh, one. Yeah, that's located on the sounds bass. It's that one, short decay one sign bass. And I just uh, adjusted it a little bit, added an EQ. Um, Delay thing, compression, bass on sounds like this. And it's side chained as well. It's the bass line. Uh, glitchy pad I've showed you. Don't really need to show you the white noise, we all know what that sounds like. Uh, pad effect, I've got two of the same pads, but I've panned them one left, one right, so it gives it stereo uh, image there located here I don't quite know how what well, I don't get with this Ableton is that you can't solo more than one track if there is a way if you could leave me a comment I'd appreciate that but because I'm quite new to Ableton I'm still trying to sort of get used to it but this is the effects <laughs> Which is actually solo one. So that's basically what it sounds like, but left and right, so it gives it a wider feel. Uh, boom kick, you've heard. The Omni Sphere. Uh, creepy effects. Let's 
to that, just add a bit more of an atmosphere and tension. Uh, wobble sounds we've heard, nature sounds, and the ride sounds, just sounds like this. It's put in the same uh, notes as the hi hat, so it gives the hi hats more of a, a groovy feel. But yeah, that's uh, a look into this track I'm making, I'm trying to get used to Ableton. As I say, if, if there's a way to solo more than one track, if you could uh, let me know, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, also, again, I apologise for not really talking a great deal. I've just woken up, so I'm not really awake yet. But yeah, if you could leave me some feedback, I'd really appreciate that. Cheers, guys.